channel. Today we're gonna do a day in the life. Let me do a quick fit check just like all the cool kids do. And then we're gonna have to get on the road because we got some errands to run this morning. I'm gonna show you my shoes until later because I don't wear shoes in the house. I try to keep my house really clean, but this is my outfit for the day. This shirt I got from H&M. I really like it because it's like silky and oversized. My jeans are from Old Navy, which I really, really love. I need to get another pair that's like kind of this mom style, but that doesn't have holes. Um, but I do really like the whole combo with the silky shirt because it kind of like dresses it down. And then um, my shoes are gonna just be boots from Walmart and my necklace is from Amazon. Earrings are also from Amazon, I believe. Alvin got them for me. And my hair is just a hot mess because I got it colored um, like a few, well, I got it highlighted a few weeks ago and she accidentally put bangs in it and some of the like layers are too short and it has not been great at styling let me just tell you i hate it cannot wait for it to grow out all right i'm gonna put on my boots these are just from walmart i also have a, them in brown um but we're gonna go and run some errands i need to go pick up my raw grass-fed milk today i also need to stop by the ups store and do some amazon returns I need to stop by Walmart probably and do like a little grocery order. Maybe also go to Aldi because um, I'm going to be up that way. Um, I need to drop off cardboard at the dump. And I don't know. I just had like a whole list of stuff that I had to get done. Thankfully, I cleaned my house yesterday. Today is my first day off and then tomorrow is my second day off. Um, but I wanted to clean my house yesterday so that way I didn't have to spend the majority of my time doing that today. So that's great because house is clean. I actually did just put in um, the laundry. So I did like our sheets and towels. I had already washed kind of like the rest of my laundry before actually i lied not the whole house is clean i should clean the bathroom today i had started cleaning some of it yesterday but i didn't have enough time before work um so i just have a little bit left to clean there but i also would like to make some homemade laundry detergent today that is on my list to do and i want to make some sourdough banana chocolate chip bread with you all this this recipe that i made like a week or so ago it turned out amazing so i think i'm going to make two more loaves today because i have some bananas that need to be used up i think that's everything that i have kind of scheduled right now um so let's go ahead and do our errands it's 9 38 so we're getting kind of an early -ish start to our day which is really nice this is a really really short layer compared to like this is like the longest part of my hair i don't know i just don't like it i don't know how to style it and like these bangs they're pretty short so i just kind of try and get them back into my hair it's kind of been like not able to be styled my natural curly way because my hair will be curly ish the short layers aren't like amazing at it um but then my bangs like that's that's as much as they curl i don't know why you want to say hi to graham there he is say hi hi graham just chilling like normal all right, let's go ahead and get out of the road. I actually already made my coffee um, because Alvin woke me up earlier before he went to work. And so I made my coffee earlier. I forgot I was gonna like, well, I didn't forget. I just like forgot to start filming earlier. So I already made my coffee in this. It's fine. There'll be plenty of other videos of me making my coffee because I love my Nespresso machine still. Like love it. Also, we still have snow. It's been here for over a week. It's just been so cold that it's literally an ice cube. It, it won't melt. <laughs>
got back from my trip. I have a whole bunch of stuff to put away here. I just brought it in. Um, I switched over the, well, I didn't get to switch it over yet. I was switching over the laundry, but our washing machine is like a piece of trash. So it didn't drain any of the stuff. So I had to like untangle it and do a drain and spin cycle on it. That's what I'm doing right now. And then I heated up, I'm heating up something to eat. I just, I'd gotten these factor meals, um, which I actually have a whole review about them. It's pretty old, um, but I still really like their company and we still get them. I'd gotten them because of my wisdom teeth and I wanted to have like meals here for Alvin. They're like very fresh. They're made by chefs. They're, uh, you know, they're not frozen or anything. They come like this. Uh, this is the, uh, apricot mustard grilled chicken with smashed potatoes and green beans you can do the microwave or the oven i just threw it in the microwave really quick because i'm going to eat that while i'm like putting this stuff away anyway i forget what the discount code is that i have i'll put it down below though there is a discount code but i really like those meals if you're looking for something just better than normal tv dinners okay first off i had gone to tj maxx and i picked up well i had to return something to TJ Maxx, but I also, I'm putting together cute little surprise boxes for my sister and my sister-in-law. They both had babies last year, um, but I'm kind of doing it for like a Valentine's thing. So I picked up a few different things. Um, I think I'm going to put those together in a different video. So I don't think I'm gonna show you all what I got for them, but I will show you some of the things that I got for me. So I picked up some wool dryer balls. I used to have some um, and then I got rid of them or they just weren't, I don't know. I don't know why I got rid of them. Anyway, picked up more of them because I am going to start using them again, start putting the essential oils on them, um, you know, try and make our laundry smell good. Also, I reorganized or I started reorganizing our refrigerator yesterday. And so I'm going to continue doing that today. Um, so I picked up these egg curtain things. I always wondered like why people used these. I have another one somewhere. I got three of them. Um, but anyway, 14 eggs fit in these. And so the reason that people get these is because they're longer than the traditional carton. So you can actually like they fit in your fridge this way without their, you know, how do I explain this? Normally when I put eggs in the fridge, there's like space in front. So then you have to like move the thing around and blah, 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 or there's something behind it. Anyway, hopefully this works out. Um, I picked up some of these essential oils because um, these are the ones I think I'm going to use when I make the laundry detergent today, which we're gonna be doing that soon. I picked up a coffee body scrub for me. This is a coffee and vanilla body scrub. So excited for this. Can't wait. I picked up a limoncello candle. This smells absolutely amazing. I mean, it smells so good for like the beginning of like springtime. Can't wait for that. I am so excited for this. I have been looking for a new kitchen apron and a lot of times TJ Maxx has like really beautiful ones. So I got this. I'm going to be wearing it today because I'm going to be baking and cooking and stuff. And so I am so excited. I need to start wearing aprons more often because I always get my clothes like dirty and greasy and this will come in handy. Can't wait for that. I picked up another candle. This one's called Lavender Tea. Mmm. That smells good, actually. And then another one of the egg cartons. And I picked up these. They had so many different refrigerator organization things, and I just wasn't sure what would work. I think that these are going to work. They have a divider in the middle, um, and they can stack. So what I was thinking about is they could maybe go in my vegetable drawer, but on the side. So that way I could stack like peppers um, or like sometimes I have loose carrots from Misfits or loose cucumbers. Um, and then that way I can find them a little bit easier, but we'll do that in just a second. Also got this one, which is a like strainer inside. Um, and there's two compartments and I thought this would be really good for berries, like for me to wash or a lot of times they say to soak in vinegar water a little bit so they last longer, but then I could keep them in here. So that way 
they're not sitting in like their own juices or water or whatever. So I think that this might work. Okay, and then I went to Aldi so I could pick up some groceries that I needed. I got um, two packs of their uh, uncured, no sugar bacon. So that way I could just have that on hand. I think I might keep one pack frozen and one pot, one pack thawed. Then I did get some blueberry kefir. I actually want to start making my own kefir, but I did not get any kefir grains yet. But I've been having Alvin like put that in his smoothies. I did pick up an organic bag of frozen strawberries and an organic bag of frozen blueberries. Then I picked up four things of their grass-fed um, Irish butter. It's like their version of Kerrygold. And I also picked up two pounds of organic butter. So when I'm like baking and stuff, I'm gonna be using the organic butter. And then when I'm just like eating stuff or if it's not just getting like, you know, baked into something, I'll use the grass-fed butter. And I'm gonna leave two of these out so I can put them in my butter dish because I was like out of butter. Then I picked up three things of the mild um, Irish cheddar cheese. This is grass-fed cheese. Again, it's kind of like their version of Kerrygold. Um, and I'm actually probably going to shred this today and put it in a container to keep in the fridge. So I'm trying to, number one, buy good quality cheese, whether it's organic or grass-fed or raw if I can. Um, and then I'm going to try and always be pre-shredding it and shredding it myself. Um, just because that's how you're supposed to do it. I did get um, a pound of ground pork because I needed that. It's not organic, but it is like no antibiotics or anything. Just all that Aldi had. And then I picked up two of their organic um, pasture. Yeah, free range whole chicken, um, non-GMO organic chickens. So I'm probably going to roast one so I can have the chicken, um, I think I'm making like a chicken pot pie with like sourdough biscuits on it. I don't know if that's what we're having today. I haven't figured out what we're having today yet, but uh, I wanna make that meal. So I'll probably roast one to make that meal and then I can use the bones to make broth um, and then I can freeze that and then I'll probably freeze this one so that way I just have it on hand. I picked up two of these. These are actually gonna go in my sister and sister-in-law's boxes, but if you have an Aldi, these are the best things ever known to mankind. They're dark chocolate sea salt caramels. Love these things. My favorite thing of all time. Then I picked up two bags of organic green lentils because they had them and I just wanted to get them. I might make like a lentil stew in the future. I did pick up a bag of quinoa, organic quinoa, because I'm gonna be making stuffed peppers this week. Got two bags of red potatoes just to have on hand. Um, I don't know if you all know, but I used to live really close to an Aldi, and now that we moved, Aldi is like 45 minutes away. So I haven't been going there at all, hardly. But now I'm going to be trying to go up there because I think even in the few dollars I spent on gas, like I have a Prius, so it's not that much. It's so much cheaper to be buying a lot of my produce and stuff from Aldi compared to shopping at Walmart and Kroger here where I live. So that's why I stocked up on like potatoes because they don't go bad and it's just cheaper. I also got a bag of frozen peas because I think that's going in the chicken pot pie. Okay, last bag. I got some pre-peeled garlic because why not? I got peppers for the stuffed peppers. A bag of onions, because I needed those. Their organic baby cucumbers were actually on like a really big super sale. Normally these are like almost $4 and they were only like $1.49. So I stocked up on them because I'm starting to getting into for fermenting vegetables and I really want to do this. So. I feel like because I haven't like filmed in a really long time, I have so much stuff that I wanna show you all and not enough time to like film and edit all these videos I wanna do. Um, but I want to ferment these cucumbers and they had these huge, gorgeous cabbages. I got two of them. They were only like 65 cents a pound, which I think that that's cheap. <laughs> But anyway, I'm going to cut these up and also start fermenting my own sauerkraut. Yeah, so I don't know if I have time to do all that today. Maybe I'll just have to film again tomorrow. <laughs>
And then last but not least, I got three avocados. Okay, I quick ate something because I was really hungry. So I ate my factor meal really quick, but now I'm going to um, put the groceries in the uh, fridge here. I'm gonna show you what I've done so far. Okay, so previously I had the milk in here, which like I know that milk is not as great there. But the problem with like having it up here is in order to get anything out of the back, you kind of have to like pull everything out, whatever, whatever, but it's fine. I moved this down um, and my eggs are here. So I'm gonna put them in their little containers and see how that fits. Um, I did have this rolling thing already um, because it's just easier than pulling all the jars out. Um, we'll still see how that goes. I have my butter and some cheeses and sour cream here, um, my uh, condiments, and then I did this as also cheese and like lunch meat instead of, I used to have it in this drawer. So what I changed, normally I had my limes and oranges and stuff down in this bottom drawer, but I'm going to make this the meat drawer. It'll be much easier to clean out. It's on the bottom like it should be. You should always put all of your raw meat on the bottom. So this is gonna be my defrosting meat drawer, which I'm really excited about. This is still gonna be my vegetable drawer, but the problem with it is I always fill it up with vegetables and a lot of them will freeze in here. It, they'll also be piled on top of everything, so I'll never see anything underneath. I'm hoping that the containers I got fit in here so I can try and do like a stackable thing. And then I had these from the dollar store. This is gonna be my fruit, limes, lemons, which I don't have any right now, but this is gonna be that drawer instead of a you know lunch meat cheese drawer. So I think that'll work out really well. And then I have these shelves. This could be leftovers um, or also just extra produce, pots, whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the eggs in the containers and try and fit all of these things in there the way that they're supposed to go. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly. Okay, 4.30. I actually had to do a reading sprint um, for my Patreon. If you didn't know, I have a Patreon, but it's for my book channel at the moment. In the future, I do want to make a Patreon for this channel and offer, you know, like cooking classes, stuff like that. But for now, I just have one over there. Um, but I was reading this book. It's a Jodi Picoult book, The Pact. It's actually my first Jodi Picoult that I'm reading. I'm probably saying her name wrong, but it's fine. Anyway, I was reading this. I did a sprint for about an hour. And now I'm going to make some tea. And I think we should actually start on the banana bread first because that takes a little while to bake. And then while that's in the oven baking and the house smell amazing um then we can work on the laundry detergent but i need to quick put my switch my wash anyway it needs to dry okay let's make some tea i'm just gonna boil some hot water i'm probably just gonna have some black tea so the uh banana bread recipe that i'm using is just it's just one that i googled and tried out but it turned out absolutely amazing so i will leave the link for the recipe down below i am making it i think almost exactly the way it's supposed to be made except i think i'm using coconut sugar instead of brown sugar 
I think that's the only thing that's quite different. Oh, I'm also using um, einkorn flour. It's like the original flour that hasn't been tampered with, you know. I just have mine. I get mine from Thrive Market, um, which I do have a code for that. I think I have like a 25% off code for that, um, but it's been like where I can find it the cheapest. So I'm gonna be making it with that just because I don't actually have any other regular flour. I just have bread flour. Oh, I really wanted to make white bread like sourdough like loaf bread but feed my sourdough starter so that might not be a thing also i'm totally baking by weight from this recipe which is something that i highly recommend you start doing so i just have a little scale it's actually i think i got this on amazon it's the same scale that i use for like when i ship packages so it's like super thin i just keep it in a drawer um but what's really awesome is that I can just set like my glass bowl on top of it and you just, you know, make sure it's on grams and then you zero it out. So you don't even have to get like measuring cups out or anything because if it says, you know, I don't know, 150 grams of flour, you would just pour the flour in until it hits 150 grams and then you zero it out again. So you can start on your next ingredient. It's just so much better to bake that way. Um, it's much more precise. It's better than using cups because you know, they can just all be different because of how, you know, the flour is, whatever. So we're gonna be baking by weight and I'm gonna be trying to do this much more often in the future. Okay, I am very stupid and <laughs> I was trying to pull out my tapioca flour so I could grab out the chocolate chips that I'm gonna be using and I didn't realize that this was open. So this just got all over my pantry yep all over oh and that was my gosh what is happening to me right now <laughs> going to feed my sourdough starter because I didn't realize that I should have already made the biscuits for the chicken pot pie. So we're actually going to have chicken pot pie tomorrow with the biscuits because I'm going to feed my sourdough starter now and then tonight I'll make the biscuit dough so it can ferment overnight. For dinner tonight, I think I'm going to make hamburger, like healthier hamburger helper recipe. It's like traditional farmhouse food, but hamburger helper style. So I'll be using the fresh cheese I shredded, the raw milk that I picked up. I'm gonna be using some einkorn pasta that I got. And then I think I'm going to do a ground beef mixture along with, I have ground beef mixed with liver. I got it from US Wellness Foods. I've been using it in like stuffed peppers and stuff like that. And I mean, it's been good. We haven't really noticed anything. Well, Alvin doesn't even know. <laughs> but I'm gonna feed my sourdough starter. So I'm actually going to go ahead and feed it with the uh, einkorn flour. And I am not a sourdough pro. I've only been doing it for about a year. I you know, took a break halfway through the year. So I'm getting back into it now. But all I do is feed it equal parts flour and water. And I use my filtered water from, a fr from the fridge because I feel like I have better results that way. And again, it's the easiest to do it by weight. So I'm just gonna get this out. And I usually feed it the amount that's already in the jar. So that's why a lot of people kind of pull some out so you're not like growing it huge. Um, but I do wanna have a good amount so I can bake bread and make the biscuits I might do all of that tomorrow if I have time. So I'm gonna go ahead and just feed this whole thing. So it's gonna be like a cup of flour and a cup of water. It's gonna fill it up. I actually have some older discard here. I like this jar as my sourdough jar. So I'm gonna just pour this discard 
in here so I can use it. I'm gonna put it in the fridge so I can use it for like pancakes and waffles, like things that don't necessarily need like a big rise to them. Um, and then I'm gonna wash that jar so I can use it as my sourdough jar. Close your eyes Get some rest Okay, Alvin said I think he's on his way home soon He said he's really hungry So I need to start making dinner but Yeah, he said maybe leaving in the next hour So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on dinner So it's ready for when he gets here since he's really hungry I'm just using this jovial Einkorn pasta. Again, I got this from Thrive Market. I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking up in my cast iron pan um, the ground beef and stuff. All right, I'm cooking um, a pound of ground beef, like grass-fed ground beef, and then a pound of ground beef slash organ meat mixture. I think I forgot to show you all my refrigerator and how it turned out, so. Milk is up top, kefir's up top. I didn't change any of this, except I won't be probably having cottage cheese and applesauce very often or wine, because wine, because number one, fertility. And those two things were from when I got my wisdom teeth removed. Yogurt, yes, and then here's the eggs. I did have a little bit extra, so that's gonna be right here um, for me to use up, and then those look really nice. I moved this up a little bit, so that way it was like really thin. Then I have my cheeses shredded and those back there. This is gonna be like the leftover shelf kind of. Some leftovers, some more factor meals. And then down here, this is my sourdough discard. And I have these two containers, which I just got from TJ Maxx. So I have cucumbers down below and then the peppers right here. And then still, if I have like a big pot or something, then I didn't change anything to that drawer. And I just put my cabbages in there for when I do my fermenting. And then down here is the meat drawer, which obviously you can see it's already working. <laughs> I might put some paper towels in the bottom just to like keep it less messy. Um, and then I left this spot open because I want to put my herbs in here when I get herbs I want to put them in a jar of water and since this gets like the warmest I thought that that would be the best so they don't like freeze or get too cold and then again my cheese and lunch meat Butter condiments, so that is a look at my refrigerator by your side. Lay your head on my chest A really bad day But I'm right here It's gonna be okay The world could fall down It's gonna be okay The sun could go out We're gonna be okay If all the blue skies may While dinner is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on making the laundry detergent. So this is gonna be able to be made like less than $2. If you use essential oils, probably more like $5, but it's going to make like a year's worth of laundry detergent. So I need to grab the ingredients. The ingredients I'm using is borax, this laundry super washing soda, and then the Fells naphtha soap and then the essential oils. So I got these ones. These are like already blended. So I'm just gonna use one of them in this batch and probably use the other one in my dryer, I guess. So first thing we have to do, and I'll leave the recipe down below, the one that I'm using, but I have to shred this soap. So hold my head. soap on the stove grated it said to mix it with a cup of water and to put it over medium heat so it melts 
Then it says to add half a gallon of water to your bucket, stir in the borax and the washing soda. So this is a half gallon mason jar. I'm just gonna fill it up with water. Okay, I'm just gonna dump this in. Add a cup of borax and a half a cup of the super washing soda. Okay, so I have the laundry detergent in this bucket here. And I got this dispenser, I got two of them actually, um, from Target online. It's, it is plastic, but it looks like glass. And I thought it would work well for me to put the homemade laundry detergent in it, but I'm gonna have to see if the hole, like the dispenser hole is big enough because this does have like soap shreds in it. Um, I mean, they're like kind of tiny, but I'm just gonna have to make sure. So let's see if this is gonna work. Let's do a test run, I guess, <laughs> and see if it'll come out of here. It does. I just didn't have it open all the way. Okay, cool. That's great to know. And then there's also a softener I wanna make quickly if I have time. So the fabric softener, I didn't realize I was gonna need vegetable glycerin. So I'm just gonna mix up what I can right now. And then I'm gonna have to order that somehow, maybe from Amazon. But it's just equal parts water and vinegar and then essential oils and then the vegetable glycerin. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up. I usually use vinegar as my softener. We got our fabric softener here. Woo! Okay, this is how dinner turned out. I added some spinach and it looks delicious. So creamy, so cheesy, yummy. And this is what the laundry room looks like now. Up here I have my laundry soap and my softener. And then I put my wool balls up here and these are just a few extra um, detergents that I have to use up. Um, but then I just did little essential oils here. So I will let you all know how it works out. I'm not sure how this is gonna work out with all of the essential oils being up at the top because it's not like I can really shake it, you know? So that's definitely not what I thought. But you don't have to put essential oils like the vinegar would work well. Oh, I still need to put the vegetable glycerin in there, I guess. Um, but hopefully I like it and hopefully it works. So hard to see from the moment we arrive. Okay, Alvin had gotten home. We ate dinner and talked for a little bit. We just had a slice of the banana bread. So, so good. You have to make that recipe. Dinner was also really, really good. Um, Alvin absolutely loved it. And we actually have a good amount of leftovers. I was surprised because there's only one box of pasta. So that's good. That it can be really easy heated up. Alvin is taking a shower now. And when he's done with the shower, we're going to watch some of our favorite shows because we don't really get to spend a lot of evenings together because I work so many like late nights. And so we've been waiting to watch our shows for like four days now. Right now we are watching Thousand Pound Sisters. We are totally up to date with the season. And we're also watching the new Gordon Ramsay competition cooking show called Next Level Chef. We also are caught up with that, or like we're gonna watch the new um, episode. That's the shows that we've been watching. Actually last week when I was getting my wisdom teeth removed, we binged the whole first season, well there is only one, but of Yellow Jackets. Highly recommend, absolutely loved it. It was so good, I cannot wait for the second season to come out. I might make myself a decaf espresso since I have um, the decaf espresso pods from Nespresso. And I love just like, you know, slowly sipping on one at night like while we're watching a show. So I might go ahead and make that in a little bit. Just look at Graham, look how cute he looks. Oh, cutie pie. Cute little pug. <laughs> oh, 
No, no, don't get up. No. <laughs> anyway, look how cozy my house is. I love when like everything's clean. Wash the dishes. I started the dishwasher. Like, oh, I just love when your house is like just clean and organized and soothing for the evening. Okay, time to go to bed. Alvin and I watched our shows and then I've been stuck on TikTok. It's like 11.30. Alvin went to bed like probably 30 minutes ago. So I need to take off my makeup, get ready for bed, and I will see you in a minute.